potent captain Settles was on the back foot when they released the gates and lost a bit of ground there. Absolute Noir began well. Aquila Gold is right up there. An elusive hunter, the Orange Cap, going off to lead them. Wordsworth is on there outside. Russian Empire, then Duke of Orange. Potent Captain Cruisador further back, then came further to the inside legal thriller. About eight lengths off the leader. That's followed by Charlie Malone and Swiss Walt is the trailer. About nine lengths cover them now as they race down towards the last 700. Well, it's cutthroats out front here. Keela Gold is cutting throats with Elusive Hunter there. A length and a half clear of Absolute Noir, the white cap, Wordsworth and Cruisador. Two and a half lengths away to potent captain Russian Empire gives them seven lengths. Start with Duke of Orange, legal thriller, Swiss Walt. And at the back end of the field is Charlie Malone's got everything to get past. 3.20 to go. Cruisador runs up to Aquila Gold. Down the inside is Absolute Noir. Two lengths away then to Wordsworth. Legal Thrillers in the clear on the outside and making up good ground. 200 metres left to go. Absolute Noir. Legal Thriller becomes a big danger on the outside. Then Cruisador and Wordsworth. It's Absolute Noir, but Legal Thriller's got him now. And Legal Thriller went on to win it. Cruisador ran up for second. Close third. Absolute Noir, Wordsworth. No more than about four lengths separating first from last. So the Handicappers have gone, done a great job in this MR68, but the winner will be Legal Thriller. He's a four-year-old son of Global View. He's out of the Bahamian Bounty Mare Bahamian Express. And as we mentioned, bred by the Ascot Stud, of which a share was retained by the Parkers. And Legal Thriller is now a two-time winner. Both wins having come over the 1,200-meter poly track here at Fairview. Well done to the collections of Legal Thriller. He's gotten home in the third race. Well, he found us on paper, well, we found him on paper, he found us going down. And Legal Thriller has come through to take the win. And very well done to his connections. They've got quite a few on course, which is fantastic. Also, a huge well done to his groom, Arasta, who's going to be very happy with 1,500 Rand for World Sports Betting. And a big thank you to my colleague, um, Distance, for joining me to collect on his behalf. Distance, thank you very much. We're going to ask Richard to come on in and have a chat. Legal Thriller, first time Richard has been aboard this fellow in quite a while. But uh, Richard, I'm sure when you got into the parade ring and saw him, that would have been a big tick. And then the feel on the way to post must have been fantastic. Yeah, he looked good. Um... Ready to go and floated nicely to the start. And obviously, uh, only thing I had to really contend with was an awkward draw. And, you know, he went in quite early, stood there for a while, um, you know, shaking a little bit. but. Uh, yeah, gates open, he was a bit sluggish. Had to, you know, take that, obviously, that narrative where you have to drop him out. And, uh, you know, the speed was true and pulled him into the wind quite early. He's got a big stride. He has gone a bit of a trip before. And uh, he moved up gamely. And when it came to the working part, he was ready to go and he won a good race. He certainly was. And it turned out to be a, a very across the board rated, um, merit rated 68, where the, the Finishes behind you were fast and furious right behind you. It was a gutsy one. Yeah, look, it was. And uh, I was listening to you guys pre-race interviews early this morning and you guys said field for the pick six. And uh, I agree 100%. It was a tough, tough uh, sort of open race to yeah. try and find the right horse. And um, But yeah, managed to get the win, which is great. So well done to the owners. Thank you very much. And to Mr. Griff and his team, well done. And to my sponsors at Ridgeman. Well, they'll be chuffed. Well done, Richard. Thank you. Alan's going to join us for the first time this afternoon. Legal Thriller is a son of Global View, and he is locally bred, so very, very well done to Ashley Parker of Ascot Stud. And, Alan, this has just been a story of a horse needing to come back to where he needs to be after being possibly just rated out of contention. Yeah, firstly, let's um, congratulate Ascot Stud, Ashley, Ashley Parker, and Global View. Secondly, uh, I agree with you. You know, you've got to take your hat off to... Uh, the owners, they've been really patient with this horse. He was, showed a little bit of promise. He ran a good second behind um, Fairy Night one day. Um, he was really badly rated, and uh, they've patiently waited for him to come down the ratings, come through winter. He looked awful in winter. He had a real shaggy, woolly coat. Uh, 
And uh, much like me, I don't like winter either. <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't like winter. I think uh, it seems like a sibling thing. His sister's very much the same. And um, you know, his coat started improving um, come the spring. It took a little bit longer than most of the horses in the yard, but uh, today his coat looked much better. I think there's still a little bit to go. But uh, right race, right time, right place. It was an open field. I don't think he, had, he was without a chance, um, but I thought maybe another run before he'd win. But uh, I've got to congratulate the owners. Patience is a virtue, and uh, they got rewarded. They certainly have. Alan, before you run away, we, of course, have the final leg of our Nelson Mandela Bay Poly Challenge up to the mile. You've got the three entries. I know all eyes will be on the Cape Raider, but horses like Inherit the Rain, Global Alley, and the Mauritian all race of very honest form. Honest horses, honest form. Um, you know, obviously, like I say, Cape Town horse, but uh, it's up to a mile. I think, uh, you know, he's going to be tested today um, as far as that goes from, from my side anyway. Yeah. Um, and uh, hopefully they all run good races. Uh, so it's always interesting, and the Poly Challenge is uh, a race or a series that is really enjoyed here in the Eastern Cape. So uh, it's come to a pinnacle, and for the first time in a long time, we've got a horse that stands a chance to win all three. Yeah, since the actual very first running of the challenge, in fact. So very interesting. Alan, very well done Thank for Legal Thriller. We've got owners standing by. Come on in and join me. Now, Andrea Puggia, he's been actually visiting us quite often of recent, so you'll be <laughs> tough goodness. to keep the momentum going. But I've, I've got to um, echo what Alan had to say now. It's been a case of you having to be patient for this fellow. He was merit rated out of it. You guys have paid the bills while he's dropped in the ratings, and he's won today. Well done. Yeah, that's quite right, Nadine. And walking down after the win with Alan, I said to him, I won't say anything anymore. You've got the experience. You know what yeah. you're doing. But we need a lot of patience. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but winning, uh, you know, it always it makes it all worthwhile. And uh, you know, for me, the source is a bit sentimental. Yeah. From the dam, you, you'll know, a foreign source yeah. came yes, from there. Yes, yes, yes. I got into all the, the the siblings. United Express running running later. Hopefully, she can come back to her best. I bought the new baby. or will share the new baby. So, sentimental win, and and glad he could. Come back into the winners' Most box. Definitely. I mean, it uh, makes it all worthwhile. So, and a top ride by Richard. I mean, Such champion nice. jockey. He knows what he's doing. And uh, so, very happy. And, and to all the partners, Daryl, yes. Ashley Parker, and, and, and the guys. Um, yeah, we we waited long enough, but a great win. <laughs> so, uh, Mr. Mackey, you guys will be having drinks upstairs on Legal Thriller. It's been a while, but uh, he's given you a bit of extra cash today. Yeah, perseverance. Yes. Yeah, he won his first race on the poly over 1,200. And uh, it's taken a bit of time. I think that... that any that price, as I do recall. 33 to yeah. 1. <laughs> with, with Kendall up. Yeah. Uh -huh. And um, that run against Fairy Knight, where we thought, no, we, there's something here. But I think he's a 1,200, 1,400 meter horse. And probably yeah. if we restrict him to that, he'll, he'll do better. Well, he does look like he's now in his right division. Hopefully, yeah. we'll cross our fingers. He doesn't get punted too badly for this one. But we'll see more of him now that he is, yeah. that he is where he should be. Yeah. Well, brilliant. Well done, again, for your perseverance. The passion is there. You're in the winner's box. Well done. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Good. There you go. Great to have owners on course, especially when the owners have been as patient as they have. And um, as uh, Andrea Poggia said, very well done to everyone else involved. I see there are quite a few other... Um, partners here, congratulations. And just bringing up his maiden win, I remember Neil found him on the way down that day at 33 to one, and he's caught us once again today. So we'll be making sure to watch him very carefully in his next start going down. Yeah.